Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Future. Here's how to make a Roblox game in 2020. What is Roblox Studio? Roblox allows players to create their own games using its proprietary engine, Roblox Studio, which can then be played by other users. Games are coded under an object-oriented programming system utilizing the programming language Lua to manipulate the environment of the game. Users are able to create purchasable content through one-time purchases, known as game passes, as well as microtransactions which can be purchased more than once, known as developer products or products. A percentage of the revenue from purchases is split between the developer and Roblox Corporation. The majority of games produced by Roblox Studio are developed by children and a total of 20 million games a year are produced using it. Copy and then paste and then you can just paste as many of them as you want and you can just move them with the select tool as well. You can even cut and duplicate blocks. Notice when you get into Roblox Studio is that you will be able to move around with your camera and the WASD keys. So you can just press the WASD keys to move around and you can also hold. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a part and by creating a part we just go to the end. Getting started with Roblox Studio. Roblox Studio is the basic interface you'll use in order to make all your Roblox creation dreams come true. From here, you can start building worlds, designing your own game, models, uploading objects to the database for other builders to use, and even learn the ins and outs of the program using tutorials and resources especially created by the Roblox Corporation. When you first open up Roblox Studio, it should look something like the image above. From the main menu, you can pick which template you want to start with, or if you want to start with one at all, and then use the tabs at the top to cycle between either creating worlds based on themes such as western or suburban, or based on gameplay such as racing or obby. An obby is one of the simplest and most popular types of games you'll see in Roblox. They're basically 3D obstacle courses that players have to navigate by running and jumping to avoid hazards in other areas of the level. They're kind of like platformers in the vein of Mario and Sonic. Like this. Notice how they're on a different axis, different planes and everything like that except for on the Y axis. I click on plugins and I click on gap fill and I have different options. I have normal, negative, best guess, one stud. Typically all the tutorial stuff I want to show you for that. There's also the toolbox. The toolbox is all your free models and everything like that. We'll showcase that more in the future for another video. But for now, I want to show you the plugins to go up and then Q makes you go down. So depending on your angle, you can press W and press E to go forward and W to go down. So it always depends on your camera orientation. So in this video- Making your first game. Pick the Yavi template and upload it. You'll see an interface that looks something like the image above in front of you. In the interface's center is a game environment where you can click things, drag things, and fully edit the playable world. There's a lot of stuff going on inside of Roblox Studio, but try not to get too overwhelmed. Since this is a template, that means the core mechanics are already in place. You got a starting point and an end point, as well as hazards to avoid along the way. In order to make this your own, we can make some simple changes. First, let's change the sky background to nighttime by switching the time of day. On the right, in the Explorer column, click Lighting, and that should open up a new box below called Properties Lighting. Lighting with a bunch of numbers on it. Then, scroll down to the bottom of the data section and find where it says Time of Day and a Time. It's a military time, so you'll need to use 24 hour version of whatever time you want. I set it for 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, and mine, for example, so it'll be 2 a.m., nice and dark with a few twinkling stars. After that, go into the game environment and click on a few of the floating squares. Using the color option in the edit section, you can change the color really quickly and easily. If you want to make new platforms, just copy and paste them and then drag them around the environment to create a design that you think will be fun and challenging. Plus, don't forget to create new red squares too. These are what your player needs to avoid and they add challenge to your game. Lava jumps. Okay, so now we have grouped everything together. It looks really nice and organized. Let's create our final obstacle. This is going to be some 20 studs, you see one stud here, 20 on this axis, 20 on this axis, but it's only going to be two studs high like this. So this is going to be our spawn area where our players are going to get tele- and then just move it along to the other side like this. We can do the same thing again, duplicate it, and this time we're going to need to rotate it for this side of the part. So you can either use the- Finishing your first Roblox game. Those were just some super basic changes that you can make to your obby so that it stands out more. You can, of course, do so much more with Roblox, this is only a small sliver of an introduction. Once your game reaches a point you consider it to be finished and publish it to Roblox, click File, then Publish to Roblox, then start the process. From here, you can name your game, add a description, and everything set up and ready to go. That's it? Yep, that's it in terms of learning what it takes to create a game in Roblox, but no, that's not entirely all that's available to game creators. For instance, while building an obstacle course, platforms can be made to look however the creator desires. They can be long and thin, have a slope, or even be a floating cone. That's the beauty of game creation from scratch. Anything is possible. Here are a couple of other actions that might come in handy. Duplicate. The duplicate tool allows designers to create copies of an object to use as many times as they want. 
It's also useful for populating levels with lots and lots of different models very quickly. For example, making more platforms out of the ones that have already been created. Spawn Location Spawn Location is a location that a player will appear when they first enter the world or when they die in the game. Without a designated place for a player to start, they might spawn in the middle of nowhere and fall into their doom repeatedly. From here, creators can also design to their heart's content, adding colors and making their world more visually appearing. Checkpoints are also necessary so that players can progress through levels and then restart at the provided point they should die, and not have to begin all the way back at the beginning. Uh, yeah, anyways, next. Alright, so plan it out, alright? So, uh, this is a pretty big tip too. Plan stuff out, alright? So, like, even if it's just you working on the game, I would- And then just move it along to the other side, like this. We can do the same thing again, duplicate it, and this time, we're gonna need to rotate it for this side of the part. So, you can either use the now, and then I'm gonna select it, and I'm gonna duplicate again. I'm gonna right click and press duplicate, or control D, and I'm gonna move it across with the move tool. Now, if you want to quickly access- Good game ideas for Roblox beginners. We trawled the internet to find some of the best Roblox game ideas that we could give you. The inspiration you need to create something unique and engaging. Number 1. Zombie City Escape Idea In this game idea for Roblox, you are a family living in a city overtaken by zombies. You need to find a car before the zombies get you and then you try to escape the city through the roads. The roads will be blocked with abandoned cars, obstacles, and of course, loads of zombies trying to get you whilst you escape the quarantine city. Number 2. Vehicle Battle Royale Game Idea This Roblox game idea is for a player versus player vehicle warfare battle. In a battle royale style, it's a strategy game where players get behind the controls of various vehicles to eliminate each other's vehicles and bases. Once both a player's vehicle and operating base has been destroyed, that player has been eliminated for the round. Rounds last for 20 minutes each. Number 3, Underwater Tycoon Game Idea Based on those popular tycoon games, but this is a more unique two-player tycoon idea that you could be based underwater. All the tycoons start off in a bubble on the seafloor, and once you buy submarines and stuff, you can then explore the sea around it for coins and other items. Number 4, Team-Based Pong Game Idea Two or more teams fight in a neon-filled arena for world domination in the Pong game. As the teams advance, they are able to win upgrades, for example, wider paddles, slower balls, and extra lives. If you don't know what Pong is, check out this explainer on YouTube. How to come up with Roblox game ideas for beginners. The best game ideas for Roblox would be one that you come up with by yourself. Here are some ways in which you can get your creative ideas flowing. Play the Roblox games you enjoy, then think about what it is about these games that you like. Is there any way in which you can improve this concept? It's much easier to come up with good Roblox game ideas when you're designing something you will want to play yourself. Ask your friends what they like. If you have friends in a computer games, find out what it is that they'd like to play. This can be the best way to get game idea inspiration, and you will often be given ideas you would never have thought of yourself. Play your game. Once you have settled on an idea, think about properly planning it to include the target audience, build style, and then how the player will be able to move through the game and get rewards from progressing. Now, and then I'm going to select it, and I'm going to duplicate it again. I'm going to right click and press duplicate, or control D, and I'm going to move it across with the move tool. Now if you want to quickly access and the properties window, you can open and close them by going to the view tab, and then clicking on explorer, and properties. So what do we use these for? So, the zombie plugins tab. Once you're in plugins, you can go ahead and see all these tools right here. Now I'm only going to show you the tools that I recommended. Coding and beyond. While the above breakdown is enough to get any new creator going with their own game in Roblox, there is so much more that can be accomplished thanks to the power of code. Roblox uses Lua, which stands out as a fun option when it comes to kids coding languages. With Lua, coders can take games to new heights, including features like explosions, new characters, and swords that will awesome power. The point where it's boring as well, so I'm bored of block suits and every other big enemy game that, is, that you consider a good end. Today's video, if you guys haven't already noticed by the title, is going to be a code video. I'm going to start off by telling you guys all the working codes on Beyond at the moment, because that's what most of you guys are searching for. I noticed that a lot of Beyond players- Testing the game. While we've only touched on creating a few basics in this game, it's important to stop and test each iteration to ensure players are capable of making the newly created jumps and that blocks are appropriately sized and spaced. To enter play mode and test, click the play button in the menu on top of the screen. Once the player appears, use the keys to move and spacebar to jump. Guide the player across each block step to make sure all jumps are possible. The quickest way to make a game nobody wants to play is to make it impossible to progress through. Once done testing, click stop to exit and return to the editor. I want to press the button. Me, 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 boop. <laughs> Uh-oh, the button disappeared. Press the button if you found it. Lunar. Oh, I found it. Thanks. Oh. Draco, why did you press it? Yeah, you I killed Lunar. It. He got to press the button. Now I want to press the button. <laughs> well, no, you can't we have to play. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel 
so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.